Well, too often we look at change and the effect that it has on the workplace with an extremely narrow view. Most change management principles focus on the actions that make the change, focusing on the policies, the technologies, systems, tasks, structures, and boxes that we have to check. When we think of change, say the change that comes from incorporating a diversity, equity, and inclusion initiative. Where many organizations focus their efforts is on creating the statements and policies around their commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. They state goals and collect data to track the progress. They revise their recruitment tools and protocols. They mandate new information and rules company-wide and they create teams and committees to champion diversity and belonging in the workplace. But for many, many organizations, these steps are barely moving the needle. Largely, it's because these are the exact types of traditional change management approaches that we know are only successful 30 to 34% of the time. The narrow way we view incorporating change is a big part of the problem. Why we place more focus on the tasks and the processes has a lot to do with how we think about and define change management. So most organizational change management is led by, or at least heavily influenced by, three main areas, project management, technology, and accounting. And how they define change management greatly impacts how the organizational change is prioritized and implement it. In project management, change management refers to the tools and processes used to manage change within a project and its team. Now, this definition is from Reich, a leading project management company. In technology, change management is a systematic approach to dealing with the tr transitions of transformation of an organization's goals, processes, or technologies. Now, this is a widely cited definition in the tech sector. We copied it directly from Tech Target. And last, an accounting. Organizational change management, or OCM, focuses on systems and processes used to advance change in organizations. Now, that's directly from CPA Canada. Where most organizational change happens, it's heavily influenced by accounting, technology, and project management, which prioritizes the tasks and processes. Now, these popular principles place the vast majority of their focus on the structures, policies, and tasks, you know, the paperwork. Now, this is largely how organizational change is currently understood. The practices, policies, and procedures are what is changing. And how we understand managing change is dependent on how well these structures and tasks are implemented, which are really important, but they're rarely the full picture. The problem is that we think that the protocols and processes are the only things that change, but in reality, it's more than that. These traditional principles often miss the most important fact, the people. It's the people that have used these policies and processes that are the ones who are really changing. We mistakenly have a, if we build it, they will come attitude to change management. That's why things like the DEI example I gave earlier are often not as successful as they should be. We think that if we create goals, define the policies and implement the tasks, then the employees will gravitate to them. But most of the time, that's not the case. Our mistake is thinking that if, that if we build these new systems and tasks, the employees will use them and they'll be more effective. So that's why we prioritize them. But where most of the real work, the real change that creates success comes from is the people accepting and implementing the new way of doing things. In fact, when the US Conference Board completed a survey, it found that the vast majority of concerns and challenges when it comes to organizational change management has almost entirely nothing to do with the policies and the paperwork. They're almost entirely about the employees' challenges, the people. This is it. 
This is why we can't seem to break past 35% successful implementation of organizational change in the past 25 plus years.